Well, howdy folks, it's Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, making another video on the Lexus for you out of Boise, Idaho on the timing job. Uh, just in case anybody's wondering, I have finished the water pump timing, uh, timing tensioner, water pump tensioner and thermostat and new belt job on this 1994 Chevy Corsica. It's got 311,000 miles and uh, it's still a pretty strong vehicle. So uh, life is good there. Uh, I've been driving it around the block a few times. It idles, fans kick on. No more overheating issues. So life is good there. So let's go ahead and move forward on the Lexus. Uh, again, <clears throat> um, right now I'm waiting on this nice lady to come pick up this car and stuff so this video is going to be a little bit more raw plus my kiddos running around Woohoo! it's going to be a little bit more raw and normally i put my phone in airplane mode so people can't text in or call but like i said since i'm waiting on some stuff uh i'm just gonna go ahead and shoot video anyways um so there's some information here that i wanted to get uh that i wanted to get out Let's see, where did we leave off? Where were we at? Hold on a second. Let's pay this guy just a little bit of attention. Say hi, kiddo. Hi. <laughs> All right, man. I'm going to go to work, okay? Okay. All right. All right, there we go. So, uh, what we're doing first <clears throat> um, is main goal is to change the water pump and the fan bracket and go ahead and change out the timing belt. That's because it's got 170,000 miles and there's only, and the last time the timing belt was changed was at 85,000 miles. And uh, the Lexus LS 4.0 engine and the LS uh, car itself is a known, literally a known million mile vehicle if you take care of it. So that's exactly what we are doing. Um, we started off by removing our spark plugs and some of our spark plug wires to make the engine easy to turn over and find top dead center. We then worked our way from left to right removing all the electrical connections, getting all the timing covers off, the top covers and all that other good stuff. Got the alternator out of the way, got the belt tensioner out of the way, got the AC out of the way. And that's something that I want to point out to you here, okay? On the AC system, you have two very obvious bolts that are up front and they're not hard to get to, all right? Because they're they're just right, There's there's one right inside of here and you get to it from here, and then there's one down here, and you get to it from here as well. So you just kind of go in through here and get to it. This plug's kind of in your way, blocking your view. So right here again here. So you just kind of go in the side here with your wrench and you get in there, all right? But way back here in the back, not on the top either, but in the back, you will have this last hidden third bracket and it's going to be a challenge to get back in there and get it. Uh, you might want to use a combination of both swivel socket and a swivel head ratchet to get back in there and just take your time. There's no special method. There's no special trick that I know of. It's just something you got to wrestle with and get, get, get in there. Now, if you are not, see, I'm installing a new AC compressor as part of this job, as well as a new belt tensioner not just a timing tensioner but a new belt tensioner and a new power steering pump so pretty much all the accessories minus the alternator are going to be new on this engine and so if you're installing hold on a second okay sorry about that i uh heard an interesting noise like water was running and uh, realized that my kiddo was peeing in the front yard. <laughs> my three-year-old, out of four kids, he's the only one that's, that seems to be like that. And so I had to tell him, dude, you can't just go pee in the front yard, man. <laughs> so anyways, okay, where were we? Uh, let's start off back with, again, on the AC compressor. Uh, it's it's going to be kind of hard. It's not going to be too hard, though. To get in here anyways because your ac compressor sits in here so you have a bolt about here and you have a bolt here so you can get uh right in here uh what you're gonna have to worry about is the hidden bolt on the back and there's no special way to get in there now if you notice i've kind of got my ac lines set aside here so that way i had a straight shot with my ratchet 
to get back in here and you're just gonna have to fight it so now from there the next thing that I'm going to do is get rid of my AC uh, <coughs> or my fan clutch my it's not my AC fan clutch it's just my fan clutch so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that this is the bracket and the pulley and the clutch and the water pump sits behind it here so that's what we're ultimately doing um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back all right and so to get that fan bracket off and gain access to your water pump you're gonna use 12 and 14 millimeter wrenches and most of your bolts are already gonna be removed from other stuff that you've removed so you don't have to worry about too much about that and at this point these are water pump bolts you got one here you got one here <clears throat> and a bunch more in the back all back here you're gonna be surprised because you're literally gonna take off the whole front of this engine so now now that I've got my AC compressor out of the way and my fan bracket my next step is going to be to take a 22 millimeter socket and go ahead and get my crankshaft bolt and pulley I'll need to use a harmonic balancer to go ahead and get that out of the way so I'm going to go ahead and pause this video here at this point. I'm not real sure if what I'm going to do next, uh, a couple messages and phone calls did come up. So I'm not real sure if I go check those phone calls since I don't have it on airplane mode, if pausing it and doing other stuff is going to mess up the video. So if I do, if it does, then I'll just make a part three that'll start off with uh, showing how to pull this crankshaft bolt and this harmonic balancer off. All right, everybody.